All right, so what we're going to be talking about in this video is ranking. It's been a very, very long time since we've done a ranking video, long overdue. A lot of people have been asking about it. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the ranking debate, how much rank really matters, and specifically what I want to target is the difference between the ranks. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people that will, they have plenty of things to say about players that play in platinum, that play in diamond. Um, and just basically the difference between the gameplay, because I've been I've been all over, even my brand new account, how a bronze lobby looks versus how an ace or conquer lobby looks, um, platinum diamond, all that good stuff. But before we get into that, what I want you guys to do while I have you here is down in the comment section, I actually have a, another interview with Tencent, uh, with Eric from Tencent, uh, like the community manager. So make sure in the comment section, whatever questions you guys want answered or potentially answered, make sure you leave those down in the comment section. The videos that are the, the, not the videos, the comments that have the most likes are the ones that I'll be for sure asking Eric from Tencent. I'll be doing that interview sometime next week from when I'm uploading this video. So yeah, so you know, I want you guys to interact with each other. If you see a question that you want answered, make sure you guys go ahead and leave the like on the comment or of course, uh, ask a question yourself. So again, we're talking about ranking and one thing I've noticed, and I've mentioned it a couple times in other videos, but one thing I've noticed more in season 11 than ever before is the difference between hot drops and ranking and how the hot drops look. So I just made it to crown. I'm in, I'm in crown right now in squads and in duos. And one thing I've noticed is how the hot drops are looking now. One disclaimer I want to put out there is this is things that I've noticed, things I've noticed uh, other people uh, you know, have also mentioned. This, uh, this is not going to be a case-by-case -case type scenario, but kind of an overall feel to how ranking and how the lobbies work and how the games are played in different ranks. So understand that you might have a different experience from somebody else, but this is just like an overview of what a lot of people uh, have been mentioning. So. First thing I want to talk about is how hot drops have been looking for the upper ranks, if you will, for, for Crown, for Ace, and of course for Conquer. Is for, for those of you that are in these ranks, or maybe you're not in the or in those tiers yet, the big difference is how the hot drops look and how people play in these matches. It's not necessarily camping or snaking and you know all that. Um, all the stuff that people want to talk crap about for people that rank up. The difference is it comes down to points. That that is that's every that's what ranking is. It's getting points for getting further into the match. People are a lot more shy, if you will, or they're a lot more reluctant to hot drop when you're in crown, when you're in ace, when you're in conquer. Why? Because if you hot drop, just because of RNG, how that works, uh, you're not always going to be guaranteed a weapon. It's just not going to happen. And some people are, especially when you're ranking up through the tiers, people, it's risk versus reward. Hot drops can be fun, but at the end of the day, if you pick up, I'm sorry, if you pick up a P92 and the enemy, who's also, let's say they're a really, really good player, let's say they pick up an AK, Despite who you are, you're pretty much going to be done. It's it's it. You're going to have a minus 48. And in order to get those 48 points back, it's going to take you an upwards of four or five games uh, to get those points back, uh, especially if you're playing in solos or duos where you don't get as many points rewarded to you as squads. So, and, I, and you, you guys are going to see some gameplay on the screen. This is, Jacob and I are both in crown right now in duos. Literally, the only person who dropped with us was a bot. Not a single real person dropped it, Pachinki. And as you guys saw on the plane path, it was right in the middle. And this isn't, I mean, there are going to be some matches where you're going to have a couple teams land with you. But as a whole, again, not by case by case scenario, uh, but as a whole, this is what the hot drops often are looking like when you're ranking up in these matches. And I know I've covered this in previous videos. Um, so 
again, it's risk versus reward. Usually people will drop, like say in Erangel, people um, will be dropping places like Gatka or Primorsk or just kind of some of the towns on the outskirts, Milta. Uh, Roz can be red hot. It can also be not that good loot. I mean, those are the type of places that people will often drop when they're ranking up, not People are shying away from military, or they're going to shy away uh, from Pachinki and those more hot drops. Uh, Sanok uh, with boot camp and ruins. Uh, people just aren't going to be dropping as much just because of the risk versus the reward. But what you end up finding is if you drop somewhere remote when you're ranking up, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? You you might have a couple teams landing with you in Gakka. You might have four or five teams landing with you in Pan An. Uh, you know, in Sonoc, just using that as an example, because people think they'll drop safe. But if everybody thinks that way, then now the quote unquote, you know, this, the, the soft or the, you know, the warm drops end up being the busier ones. Now, the difference with the, the big difference with platinum and with diamond, maybe like crown five, crown four, crown three, you might often find people or even gold, you might have a hot drop that is literally red hot where you could have six, seven, eight teams land at Pachinki. Especially for those of you watching this, I've not forgotten about you, but for those of you that are FPP players, you'll notice that people typically that play first person don't care about rank at all. They will go in Sonoc, they will drop boot camp, you will literally have 30 people in boot camp with you. And once whoever wins the boot camp battle, uh, they nade themselves because they don't care about points and then they go ahead and go right back in. But for those of you that are, again, this is about ranking. Uh, this is you know a ranking video. For those of you um, that that are trying to rank up, when you're in platinum, when you're in diamond, the lower crown tiers, your hot drops are actually hot. Um, that's the big difference. So when people people are quick to bash on the players that are at the lower leagues, but you'll often find um, not as skilled players. Uh, usually in these in these tiers uh, but you will have a lot more action in your games at the beginning because everybody's going hot that's the other difference between uh, when you're playing in a match where you're in crown ace conquer usually the bulk of your action is going to be at the very very end like the last you know two maybe three zones you can have 30 or 40 players left in the last two circles. Uh, and that's what that's what a lot of people like. Even though the beginning and mid game, you don't get a whole lot of action typically, but the end games in those ace matches, in those conquer matches, there's nothing else like them. It's, it's insane. I mean, it cannot be compared to anything else. When you're playing at the lower tiers, like um, platinum, diamond, lower crown again, you're gonna have a lot of people in the beginning of the games because everyone's dropping hot, everyone wants that action. It dies off, you usually have pretty dead, yeah, the, <laughs> the mid game uh, in lower tiers, usually not a whole lot of action. And in the end game, you might have a couple, uh, you know, a couple good engagements, but I mean, you'll see, and you'll see it a lot on YouTube where, you know, they're panning the last guy. I'm sorry, if you're in a ace lobby or a, crown, or a, a conquer lobby with someone who's skilled, I'm pre I, I, I'm I'm not gonna hesitate to say that you're not gonna be panning the last dude. You could just tell you could just tell if someone is getting pushed by a squad and they just land on their belly and they're just spinning around. You, you guys have seen the content. Uh, these are usually going to be in much much easier lobbies, just plain and simple. So to really end, I mean, not the end all. I think the debate will always be out there, um, high tier you know versus low tier. It's obviously going to come down. Plain and simple, it's going to come down to skill, the type of people that you have in your matches. Sometimes you just know if you're in, if you're going to be in a good match or not. But at the end of the day, that's what's cool about PUBG. At the end of the day, it's all about you. Ranking matters if you think it does. If ranking doesn't bother you, then it doesn't really matter what rank you're in. But if you're somebody grinding, uh, then yeah, of course rank is going to matter to you, the individual, because if you get a minus 48, you know it's gonna take you three hours to get those points back. You're going to be 
often playing your games with a little more caution, especially in the beginning. And then what you'll see at the very, very end when you know that you're in that top 10, you're just you're pushing everything because you know you're in the safe zone. You're not going to be losing any points despite how the outcome is, if that makes sense. But yeah, but more so than ever this season, I've noticed a huge, huge, huge difference in the drops. I don't know if people are more aware of their rank or if more people are trying to rank up. But uh, it's just insane when Pachinki is like right in the middle of the playing path and you want to go down for some action and there's absolutely nobody there. It's, it's just, it's, it's literally a ghost town. It's insane. But I want you guys to let me know down in the com comment section, not only your questions for Tencent, uh, but how you've, what you've noticed this season. If what I'm saying you know rings true or for if it uh you know rings home for you as far as the difference between how each of the tiers play as you're ranking up because there definitely is a difference a huge 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 difference between ace and say diamond five the lobbies they cannot be compared. People in these matches are playing much, much differently. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. But I definitely want to wish each and every one of you good luck in the rest of your season for ranking. I'll definitely be coming out uh, you know, some more ranking tip videos. But until the next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.